gross of the week with me, Screaming Mimi, is so simple and so effective, we're making rats. For this, you will need some fake fur. P is for paint, because that's what you'll need. A is for a pot of paint. I is for, I like paint. N is for, uh, next letter is T. That was the best poem ever. <laughs> You will also need some paint brushes for the paint. Duh. Some sweet smelling springtime flowers. Wait, that's that's the other kind of flower. I, I knew that. And then you'll need balloons. Some round, like me, and some long, like uh, a tree. Yeah, a tree. <laughs> Next, you'll need a funnel. I put the fun in funnel. <laughs> a big plate. I use paper ones because I broke too many normal ones. Some tape, some scissors. Get an adult to help with these and a marker pen for marking things and pen. <laughs> First, cut a long balloon in half. Then fill it with flour. Use the funnel for this. And fill it up until it's full. Like a, like a full thing. Yeah. <laughs> now just tie the balloon up or else the flour will fall out and that'll just make you angry. I get angry when flour is spilled. I get angry when balloons aren't filled. Boom, poem. <laughs> now, mix your paint on the plate to make a great gross pink color. Bit of this, bit of that. Mix it together. Oh, ah, perfect. Now, just paint the balloon to make your rat tail. Then leave it somewhere to dry whilst we make our rat. To make the rat, take a big round balloon of any color and blow it up with air, not with TNT. <laughs> there, one inflated balloon. Now where was I? Oh yeah, so now you need to get the tail and stick it to the balloon. Do this using the tape we got earlier. Great job. Now we need to wrap it in fur. So do that by putting rolls of tape inside the fur like this. See? It's so easy. One, two, three, four. Now we just wrap up the balloon from before. What a rhyme and what a rat. Looks great. Remember to check it and tape down any extra bits of fur. Otherwise it won't work. Yeah, look at that rat go! As a final touch, draw some extra spots and lines onto the tail to make it look extra super real. Perfect! Now, just leave it for someone to find. You can hide it on a chair, in a bag, behind or under furniture, anywhere you like. If you like this video, then give it a like and onto our channel, subscribe, and join the Mad Balls tribe. Ha! <laughs> Bye! Salutations. This week's gross creation from me, Skullface, and me, Lobe, yes, and you, is a worm sandwich. Mm, our favorite. Sadly, this is only with pretend worms. Boring. Silence. For this, you will need some hot dogs. Poor Fido. They're not real dogs, you fool. Oh, then what's a sausage dog? <sighs> You'll also need a mixing bowl. Oh, that's for mixing things, right? Your genius astounds me. Thanks. Next, you'll require a bottle of tomato ketchup. Mm. And of course, some bread. Of course, bread. What's a bread? And finally, you'll also require a knife. Be sure to get an adult's help with this one. And a spoon. Spoon is a funny word. Spoon. Be quiet. The first thing you must do is slice each of your hot dogs into long and thin strips. Remember, geniuses like us get an adult's help with this. That's why I'm here. If you're a genius, then what am I? Hmm, I know, a skull. Seize your chatter, Lobe. We're concentrating on our hot dog cutting. Ew, they look like worms. That is the point since we are making a worm sandwich. Oh yeah. Very convincing. Remove your hot dogs and cook them, with an adult's help, of course. Next, collect your sliced hot dogs in the mixing bowl and cover them in tomato ketchup. 
Good. And then mix it all together using the spoon. Hands! Mix with your hands! No! Now look what you've done. <sighs> Very well. Mix with whatever you wish. Although, if you do use your hands, remember, you will be covered in ketchup and have to clean the... Ta-da! How did you clean these hands so quickly? Told you I'm a genius. Next, take your bread and very carefully... Tear it open! <laughs> Lobe, stop this at once. It worked, didn't it? Fine. Use your hands for everything. Use your hands to fill your sandwiches with the hot dogs. Why not? If you're determined to be messy, we shall do it because I say so. Yes, sir. That looks most acceptable. It looks gross. <sighs> That is the point, Loeb. Oh, then good job. Now you can trick your friends into thinking that you're eating worms. <laughs> or, even better, <laughs> trick them into doing it instead. Finally, something we agree on. Don't forget to like this video and... Subscribe to our channel for more Mad Balls Mayhem with me, Loeb. <sighs> Goodbye. This week's Gross of the Week is my favorite prank ever. We're going to be making a whoopee cushion. <laughs> The only way this could be better is if it was a real fart machine. Sadly, those don't exist. For this, you will need a big squishy sponge, a balloon, a big roll of extra sticky sticky tape, a resealable bag for sealing all the farts in, <laughs> and finally, some scissors. Remember to get an adult's help with these. Step one, put the sponge in the bag. It shouldn't be too hard, and if it's too big, squish it. <laughs> Next, leave about an inch of excess bag and cut the rest off with the scissors. We won't be needing it. Super speed cutting, woo! Next, cut out a small section from the top of the bag like this. Remember to do this on both sides. One, and... What comes after one? Two! <laughs> now, we need to grab our balloon and cut it in half, like this. Perfect. And when we've done that, we need to cut a little way down the sides of the balloon as well, so it looks something like this. So now, grab the tape, and using little strips like this, you need to tape the bag closed on both sides. Like so. And then you need to stick on the balloon over the hole in the bag like a valve for farts. You need to do this lots to make it airtight. I mean, uh, to make it fart tight. <laughs> it's starting to take shape. It should look something like this. Now we just need to get the tape again and cover the whole thing. Wrap it up super duper tight. The stronger it is, the better the fart sounds will be. Once it's all wrapped up, it'll look like this and you can give it a squeeze to test. Sounds like one of my farts. <laughs> How brilliant is that? You can leave this on a chair for someone to sit on, and when they do, it'll sound like they farted. <laughs> Don't forget to like this video <laughs> and subscribe to the Madballs channel for more gassy Madballs mayhem. Bye. This week's gross of the week with me, Screaming Mimi, is cake. Is that it? Cake? Just cake? Exploding cake! That's more my style. <laughs> For this, you'll need a tray, a box, or lid, lots of creamy cream, some delicious cake decorations, um, num, num, num. a pump? What's that for? Oh, it's for the balloons. <laughs> I like to blow up mine with my mouth. Or with TNT. <laughs> Finally, you'll need some sticky tape and some scissors. Get an adult to help with these. Duh. First thing you need to do is blow up your balloons. 
We'll start with this lovely yellow one. Yellow, the color of nice things like flowers, the sun, earwax. Ha! <laughs> now put it in the lid and pump the rest up. Red is good because it rhymes with bed. I like bed and being fed. Ha! Finally, we'll do this green one. Green rhymes with uh, 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 bean. Green rhymes with bean. And beans make you fart. <laughs> Once all these are ready, line them up in the box and tape them in place. Perfect. Now, just put it on the tray as well so we can hide the box. Our plan is taking shape. <laughs> now is the fun part. We need to make it look like a cake. To do this, just cover it in cream. Lots and lots and lots of cream. <laughs> make sure you can't see anything other than cream so we can make someone scream with our brilliant scheme. <laughs> Now it's all covered and looking delicious. It's time to decorate. You can do this with anything you like. Chocolates, sprinkles, marshmallows, they're good. Even boogers if you want. But that might not make someone want to eat it. <laughs> Just me. Wow, looks perfect, doesn't it? Good enough to eat, you might say. So now we wait until someone comes along to cut a slice. And when they do, Oh no, it's collapsed and exploded. Look at that explosion. <laughs> Great job. What a brilliant prank. You're welcome. Don't forget to like this video and make sure you subscribe to Mad Balls or you'll be up. Uh, sad Balls. Yeah, Sad Balls. <laughs> Great rhyme. <laughs> Bye. Hi guys, the gross of the week this week is so simple, but so fun. It's the fly in the ice cube prank, or as I call it, the ice cube prank. Get it? <laughs> For this, you'll need some raisins, which are basically old shriveled fruits, which is gross and awesome. Awesome. <laughs> You'll also need an ice cube tray. This is a tray for making ice cubes, not a tray made of ice cubes. That'd be crazy and melty. Finally, you'll need a big glass of water. Super. First thing you need to do is half fill the ice cube tray with water. This can be a bit boring, so I like to do it in super speed. Woo! Ha ha ha! So now we need to freeze. I meant... Freeze the ice tray. Unfreeze. Phew, that's better. And our ice cubes look great. And yeah, give it a poke. Why not? Now we need to put a raisin in each ice cube mold. This can also be boring, so you know what we should do? Super speed. <laughs> and then we just need to fill it up with water again. Dum de dum. Looks good. Make sure all the raisins are in the middle and then freeze them. Once frozen, they should look a bit like this and you can get pranking. We're gonna load this glass of cool, refreshing, delicious, nutritious orange juice full of flies. <laughs> so just pop the ice cube out of the mold and try not to drop it. Pop out the ice cubes and put them in the drink. You can use one or two or all of them. <laughs> and there you go. Looks horrible. <laughs> Remember to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more Madball Mayhem. Goodbye. This week's gross creation is the grossest of the gross. <laughs> We're making poo. <laughs> First thing you're gonna want is a big bowl of cocoa powder. Nice and brown and delicious. Look at this slimy, sludgy peanut butter. I love it. A bowl of sweet corn, my favorite, because you can see it in your poop. <laughs> to mix up your poop, you're gonna need a big bowl and a spoon. And finally, some milk. Sadly, this milk isn't green and lumpy, as I usually like. And a big sheet of plastic wrap, and we're ready to poop. I mean, uh, make poop. 
First of all, you want to take your goopy gross peanut butter and slop it all into the bowl. Anyone else getting hungry? Next, you need to pour in some cocoa powder to darken the mixture and give it a good stir. Wow, they're stirring quickly. How are they? Oh, they sped it up. It might take you a bit longer than 10 seconds. Cheaters. Add a dollop of milk to make your poop sloppy. <laughs> Just like Mama Dust Brain used to make. Looking good. Now it's time for the sweet corn. I don't usually like vegetables, but these really make the poop look real. So sprinkle a few in and give it a good stir once again. <laughs> now get your plastic wrap and give it a dusting of cocoa powder. Super! And then scoop your mixture into the wrap. Seriously, is this making anyone else hungry? Once your poop is in the wrap, it's time to roll it out. The first style we're going to go for is a nice sausage. So you need to roll it short and fat and then remove it from the wrapping. Looks good. There's something very familiar about it as well. Hmm. Now we're going to go for another style, a curler. For this, we need to wrap our poop once again and roll it to be really long and really thin. Very satisfying. Once you've rolled it out, remove it from the plastic wrap and shape it into a nice spiral. It doesn't have to be perfect, it just has to look like poop. <laughs> Great job! Now you can prank anyone, anytime! <laughs> like this video and subscribe to the channel for more Mad Balls Mayhem and Pranks! Bye! This week's Gross of the Week with me, Oculus Orbis, is a great one. We're going to be making pus. Ha <laughs> ha! Great for grossing out your friends and family. To make pus, you'll need some flour, the baking kind, not the garden kind. <laughs> you'll need a banana, -na 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 -na. <laughs> some delicious sweet golden syrup, a dish to mix it all in, and finally, a knife and a spoon. Oh, and a fork, of course. Can't forget the fork. The first thing you need to do is peel the banana -na, 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 na This one has a bruise in it. That's awesome. Bananas are best when brown and mucky. Now that the skin's off. Ouch! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> They're fine, probably. Now we need to cut the banana in half. You can eat the spare half if you want. Yum, 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 yum. And then grab your fork and mash it up. Super speed mashing is the best kind, woo! Wow, that looks so gross. So let's add some delicious syrup to make it even grosser. Ear, er. It makes it so sticky and slimy. I love it. And of course, stir and mash that in too. Looks disgusting. And finally, to thicken it up and make it lumpy, pour in some flour and then stir that in as well. Is this making anyone else hungry or just me? Looks perfect, just like my real pus. If you want to make a pretend pimple as well, Get some liquid latex and put a big dollop on another dish. Then you need to spread this over the bit of skin you want to pop. We're gonna do ours on this hand. It'll be great. So put a thick layer on and let it dry off. You might have to do this a few times. So let's skip to the next bit. Use a syringe to suck up some of your pus and then squeeze it through a little hole in the latex to make a big puffy pimple. Looks great. Once this is done, you need to find your victim and pretend that it's real. And when you squeeze it out, it looks like this. And the best part is you can do it over and over again. Gross! Don't 
forget to like this video and subscribe to the Madballs channel for more brilliant and gross eyeballs mayhem. Bye! This week's gross of the week shall be... Toothpaste cookies! <sighs> Silence! It shall be the toothpaste cookie prank. I said it shall be the toothpaste cookie prank. <laughs> Oh, um, wow, so evil. It's true, I am. For this most evil creation, you shall first need some minty fresh fang cleansing gel. He means toothpaste. I said silence. <clears throat> you shall also need some delightfully delicious looking cookies. My favorite. Not for long, my cerebro companion. Finally, you shall need a knife if you have the assistance of an adult of your species or some other spreading tool. Like a chapstick? No, not like a... Will you be silent for once? Okay. Step one, take a cookie and separate the two cookie layers, being careful not to break them with your human claws. They're called hands. With your hands. Once separated, take your knife or chapstick and remove the sweet, delicious, creamy filling and then throw it in the bin. There is no time for sweets when there is mischief to be had. Next, you need to take the toothpaste and squeeze a big dollop into the middle of one of the cookie layers. Loeb, what do you think you're doing? And then put the cookie back together and it should look something like this. Loeb, of all the insulin- I'm sorry, master. I just got excited. Do not let it happen again. This is serious business. Yes, sir. Where were we? Ah, yes. Repeat this process as many times as you desire, with as many cookies I... as you need. Sorry. Lobe. Sorry. <sighs> what is it? I... I just thought maybe if you hid the trap cookies among real ones, it would be extra effective. Hmm. Not bad. Most satisfactory contribution, Lobe. Really? Oh, thank you so much! Silence! Oh. Now wait until your target attempts to consume the cookie. And enjoy the horror of their face as they writhe in disgust! Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the Madballs channel for more genius plans from me! Goodbye! This week's gross of the week is a personal favorite of Hornheads. Vomit! Fun, smelly vomit. For this, you will need a mixing bowl. That's an exciting one to start on. A big old stack of crackers. A can of extra chunky soup. The more chunks are better, ha ha ha. Orange juice, a great source of vitamin C and great for thick cloudy barf. Milk to make it thick and tough, like me. A bag you can reseal. And last and definitely least, and frankly kind of boring, a spoon. <laughs> Step one. Take all of your crackers and seal them in the bag, and then smash them! Hornhead likes to use head when Hornhead do it, but you can use your hands like this guy, Hornhead guess. Do what you like, as long as they end up a thousand tiny pieces, and then you need to put those pieces in that super exciting mixing bowl from earlier. Now you need to pour in your OJ and mix it all in there until it's all gloopy. Looks pretty delicious, right? Exactly. It's too delicious. This is vomit, not your mother's cooking. We need to gross it up. With some milk. Hornhead prefer milk to be spoiled and lumpy, personally. But use whatever you can find. It's looking pretty gross, but not gross enough. Need some chunks. Where could we get those? Perfect. Get an adult to help you open the can so they can cover themselves in it when they do. <laughs> then pour it all in. Ugh, that smells absolutely disgusting. Hornhead love it. Now we just need to give it a good stir with a spoon or your horn or whatever you have. And then, ta-da! You are ready to hide it and prank your friends or parents. Look how real it looks in the toilet. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more Mad Balls Mayhem. Happy pranking! This week's gross creation is a great prank to pull on your friends. Mashed potato ice cream. Sounds delish. <laughs> for this, you will need some delicious sweet wafers, 
to ruin. Some slippy, slidey, slimy butter. A big tub of scrumptious ice cream to ruin as well. <laughs> You'll also need some salt to make the mash extra disgusting. <laughs> some dessert sauce to make it look realistic. Some milk. Sadly, this milk is fresh and not spoiled. Oh well. And finally, you will need a dish to serve in. Presentation is the key to a good prank. Some potatoes to mash and smash. A potato peeler. A knife. And an ice cream scoop. Whew, that's a lot of stuff, but it'll be worth it. <laughs> First, get an adult with a great sense of humor to wash and peel the potatoes. I prefer them with mud and skins, but maybe that's just me. Looks good. Next, get your adult sidekick to chop up the potatoes into easily mashable chunks. <gasps> They're taking a while. I know. Whee! Ta-da! Now, you need the adult to take these away and boil them up, and then they'll look like this. Since I don't have hands, my potatoes have been mashed up already. Make sure you get to mash yours, though. It's the best. Now grab your real ice cream, dessert sauce, serving dish, wafers, and scoop, because now it's time to put it all together. <laughs> Start with a couple of scoops of real ice cream. It's a shame to waste something so yummy, but it's worth it. That should do it. And then start adding the mashed potato. It looks just like ice cream, but it's more like ice cream. Mmm, <laughs> looks perfect. Now we just need to add a wafer. Or you can use sprinkles, or anything you like, really. Just make it look yummy. And then we need to cover it all in sauce as well. This makes it extra gooey and really doesn't taste good with mashed potato. Looks great, doesn't it? If I didn't know what it was, I'd eat it myself. So now you just need to serve it up to your chosen victim and sit back and enjoy, maybe with an ice cream. <laughs> Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more Mad Balls Mayhem. <laughs> Bye. This week's gross creation is slime, gooey, squishy, and slimy slime. <laughs> First thing you'll need is some. What is that? Oh, uh, water. Warm water. Next is a mixing bowl. Some piva. Gloop. Some laundry sauce. Isn't that normally used to clean things? Ew. A nice uh, spoon. I said spoon. That's a, a spoon. Spoon. And finally, you will also need some UV paint and a UV flashlight or light or something. I don't know. Step one. Scoop some... <laughs> laundry slot into your warm water and give it a good stirring. This could take a... Wow, look at the speed of that stirring. How is it doing that? That's madness. That's mad ballsness? Ha ha ha. Mad ballsness. Get it? I said mad but... <sighs> Never mind. Next, you need to get your mixing bowl and pour in a big sloppy slimy pile of piva goop before taking in the UV paint and squeezing a big dollop into the goop and adding the wasser. Now it's stirring time. Look at that cool color. I like green. A lot of my favorite things are green. Slime, frogs, me, greenhouses, boogers. <laughs> if you need to make your slime less runny, just add more of the starchy water and keep stirring. When your slime starts feeling thick and, well, slimy, it's time to get your hands in and take it out. If it feels gross in your hands, then don't worry. That's only because it is gross. It's slime. <laughs> Look at how squishy it is. We can flatten it, roll it into a ball, 
that's it. And if we turn off the... Ah! <clears throat> if we turn off the lights and shine our UV flashlight at it, you can see that it glows in the dark. How cool is that? I wish I could make some slime. Mine just goes out of my nose. Thanks for watching! Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more mad balls mayhem and fun! Bye! <laughs> this week's gross creation is going to be. <laughs> snot! Let's do! To make your snot, you're going to need some kind of, uh, container to mix things in. A quarter cup of corn syrup, mm. some gelatin. A fork and knife spoon. Fork and spoon. Why can't I remember that one? And finally, a nice cup of warm water. Step one. Pour your water into the container. Next, scoop four teaspoons of gelatin into the container in the water and stir it in. Stir, stir, stir. Dum -de -dum -de -dum. For fun, why don't we just put the rest of the gel in? Where did your hand come from? Wow, this person has three hands. That's crazy. But that looks good to me. So my vision isn't the best, so maybe judge it yourself. Now we need to pour in some of our syrup, just a dollop for now, and stir it in. Looks thick and goopy. But let's add more syrup anyway. You can never be too goopy. Mmm, <laughs> looks nice and thick. <clears throat> Like my real slot probably tastes as good as well. Now all we need to do is scoop it up and test it out. Maybe a nice, completely innocent handshake? Hehehe. <laughs> <laughs> what a genius prank from me! Also a genius. But what else can we do with our new pot of snot? Get some tissues, scoop in a big nostril full, and just leave them around for people to find. It's so simple. Like me. Also, sim no, wait, I'm a genius. <laughs> Tell us in the comments if you trick your parents or friends with your fake snot. And remember to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more Mad Balls grossness. Mad Balls, Mad Balls, Mad Balls. <laughs>